Let's see. This probably has some juicy details. Ryu Aoki, current governor of Tokyo, age 42. That's even the same age as the young master. Don't freak out. Maybe it's all a coincidence. Hmm. Says Aoki was a shut-in until he was 20. Then he suddenly took off for America. He took political econ courses at Harvard, where he became close friends with Hajime Ogasawara. Then they came back to Japan. You know, I think they founded Bleach Japan that year. Maybe by then he was already making all his shadowy plans. Ugh. Bleach Japan's agenda is hardly shadowy. In fact, it was pretty damn heartwarming for lots of folks. Seeing those youngsters demand decency, and Aoki's popularity skyrocketed. He was on magazine covers, on TV. He was in the public eye every day. Got a gig as a commentator eventually. That's right, and then he entered politics. He left Ogasawara in charge of Bleach Japan. Looks like he didn't win the governor race by a landslide exactly, but now his approval rating is 80%. Plus, he's got no political enemies. Life's good for him. Are there any articles that say he has another name? That's what I want to know. I don't see anything like that. But I still think you're jumping to conclusions. I wouldn't write off what Kasuga's saying, though. There's a lot of stuff that'd make perfect sense if it turned out Masato Arakawa is the governor. Y yeah Like what? Like his sudden gain in political support that I was just talking about. That was all because he destroyed the Tojo clan with his Kamurocho 3K plan. Was that the plan to wipe out all the Yakuza? Yeah. After he rolled it out, the Tojo officers vanished from the city like so much smoke in the wind. Vanished? Yeah. I mean, they probably just fled the city out of panic. They knew they were on the verge of getting busted. 3K plan enacted a bunch of new anti-Yakuza laws. The cops had a smorgasbord of violations to pick from. They could have booked the whole damn Tojo clan. So yeah, I assume the officers skipped town when they saw the cloud of charges hovering over them. Definitely sounds like they were backed into a corner. Right. Although it wasn't really the 3K plan itself that made them feel trapped. It was more because the Tojo's internal affairs got leaked to the police. And I'd bet my life the guy who leaked it was Masumi Arakawa. Huh? You think the patriarch of the Arakawa family colluded with the governor? Well, if the governor is Masato like Kasuga thinks, then it's all in the family. <laughs> Forget collusion. That's just plain nepotism. Hey, we would also give Arakawa a reason to betray his clan. Well, he was more loyal to his son than he was to the Tojo clan. Most men would be. Most men, yes, but not Arakawa-san. Well, if you say so, but you have to admit, my theory makes sense. Arakawa is human. And what's more human than wanting the best for your child? Parents, even Yakuza parents, will do anything for their kids. <sighs> One thing I don't get, how did the young master hide his past? A Yakuza can't become governor. Well, maybe he bought a family register. You can just buy one? Yep. Well, it's easier to create a fictional person than you think. Yeah. Doctor up a photo, slap on a false name, and file a fake official register. I mean, you can get by on that for a good while. As long as no one takes a deep look at your file, of course. Otherwise, it falls apart real quick. Well, of course it does, if it's all lies. Right, but... If you altered an existing register, instead of making one from scratch, the lies wouldn't be so obvious. Now, I'm thinking there was probably an actual shut-in named Ryo Aoki. Masato bought or stole Aoki's family register and is impersonating him. Is taking someone else's family register really that simple? I never said it was simple, but it is possible, especially if you've got money or the right connections. Don't you think, Kasuga? The young master would have had the money and connections to do it. So yeah, I can see it. But why would he go to all that trouble? To hide his Yakuza background, so he could be governor. The public would never accept a politician with Yakuza roots. 
Ichiban, who told you that Masato was dead? One of my senpai from middle school, back in Kamurocho. It was just the other day, actually. Maybe the Arakawa family started spreading that rumor around themselves. Hold on! Hold the hell on! What? What is it? The young master couldn't walk. He used a wheelchair. The governor can walk. Oh, then they can't be the same person. How could he hide a disability like that? Well, the article said Aoki studied abroad in the U.S., right? Maybe he got surgery there. No, the doctor said he was wheelchair-bound for life. Well, maybe here in Japan that's true. But sometimes you can get procedures done in the U.S. that uh, aren't available here. Hey, who's the guy who looks like there's a stick up his ass? That's the police commissioner, Orinouchi. Oh, your eternal rival. <laughs> I think I've seen him before. What? Sometime before I went to prison. Uh, but when was it? Oh, right! I saw him at a cabaret club I took the young master to. Yeah, Horinouchi was this dude that the young master's favorite girl was in love with. Ah, so the governor and the police commissioner used to be rivals in love. <laughs> Bet that made for a awkward meeting. Yeah, I'm sure they remember each other, especially if Ichiban does. I wonder what all went down. Damn, Kamro's just looking like a pretty big piece of the puzzle now. But I can't really put it all together yet. Confusing ass mess. Well, uh, no point in dwelling on it right now. Let's call it a day. I'm beat. But guys, remember what Mabuchi said? The Omi Alliance is going to invade. You can sleep after hearing that? Hell yeah. <laughs> it's not like we can do anything about it when we're tired. Good point. Let's head back and hit the hay. We don't even need to head back. Huh? Hey, barkeep. Remember when I asked you about that room on the second floor? Oh yeah, I cleaned it up for you. It's all yours. <laughs> nice. Thanks. What room? There's some vacant space on the second floor. They're using it for storage right now, but I asked if we could use it as a hideout. I mean, your place definitely has its mood and all, but it was, uh, getting kind of cramped. Here we'll have more room. Plus, at night, we can drink down here and then just stumble up to bed. How's that for convenience? Uh, yeah, it is great, but you sure you're okay with this, pal? Yeah, whatever. Room wasn't being used for anything, so it's no skin off my nose. Besides... I don't know how, but I heard you're fighting for the people of this town. Well, I'm not so desperate that I can't offer a shabby old room to a hero and his party. Wow, dude. Thanks! We'll keep the room as neat as you keep your bourbon. Hmm. <laughs> Smooth. <laughs> wow. Enough with the whiskey puns, you two. You will drive me to drink! <laughs> hey. If you don't like my jokes, you can forget about using the rum. <laughs> Damn! I should go see how the town's dealing with the threat of Omi Alliance invasion. All right, so, all right, so just looking at the voice um, behind. So apparently, uh, for Ryu Ayogi, um, there is uh, a Japanese voice dub. I'm not sure. I, I gotta look further because they don't sound like Kasuke uh, Tori Toriyumi. That could be, you know, 
uh, maybe they they are done with two different voice actors. Um, but I want to get back to. Let's see if they don't have it. I, I'm just not gonna be bothered with, because I want to waste too many people's time. Um, no, unfortunately, I was thinking about. You know, I was trying to figure out who is the voice of Masta, uh, the barkeep, and because um, he definitely have a, a good town, a good amount of uh, voice in his uh, his part. All right, so we're in the chapter now, and then we, well, I mean, we've been sleeping upstairs for a while now, so I don't even know why they now mention that there's, uh, you know, you can actually like kind of just chill here. Um, Let's pick up, let's pick up the um, stuff that I harvest. Tomato, nice. Get out of here, man. Dude, you pick up. Oh, all right. So you know what? Let me plant potato. And uh, onion. I don't even know what I need, but I'm just gonna plan everything whenever I have time. And I, I you know, the thing is, I'm not even gonna be able to uh, remember enough to go to the other places to pick up my stuff. Um, whatever, right? All right. So, looking at it, where are we going? We're supposed to where? Leave the hideout to find out what's going on. So pretty much just like walk around the town and see things. So, I am going to spend this video to, uh, ha 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 ha, I'm sorry guys, you know I am, I am a sucker for side quest. So, right, right here, I'm just gonna go down there and, uh, pick up, sure, why not. Yeah. Interesting. Hey. Okay. <laughs> hey. Well, you know what? When they're telling you you shouldn't go there, you go there. All right. And then uh, hopefully I can start on side quest because I really want to do that. And I know by starting side quest you unlock things, so it's not a bad deal anyway. Anything here I can pick up? Let's just figure out a look. <laughs> nope. All right, fine. Then on that case, here comes the side quest. What's going on here? Sorry to disturb you during your recovery, Honey Yamasan. Can you tell us what happened out there? Honey Yamasan, have you had any further contact with Anzai san since the incident? No, none at all. Just an apology from a representative. Anzai san insists the play was entirely his doing. He performed a dangerous slide despite the fact that he was in the clear already. How did you see things, Honey Yamasan? That's not far off, but I don't believe he made that call on his own. We understand that Anzai-san is an old friend of yours. What sort of player was he back then? They say playing as number four next season is a fool's errand. What are your thoughts on that? There are even rumors Anzai-san will be leaving the Yokohama Shark Stars. Hey, please, no pushing. Hey, this shit's serious. You all right, man? Oh, thanks. Hanayama-san, we still have some questions. Hey, aren't you gonna apologize for pushing him over? Yeah, I, I didn't. Assholes, this guy's injured and you don't even think to say sorry? Yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 I'm sorry. Sheesh, you guys are hopeless. <sighs> Thank you. 
Can you stand? Here, grab my shoulder. Thank you. Um, Kasuga-san, was it? I'm Hanayama. Might not look it right now, but I'm actually a baseball player. So, that leg? Not because of your friend Anzai? Being an athlete's not all it's cracked up to be, huh? You could say that. This whole thing is really starting to make headlines. You haven't heard? Sorry. I tend to keep my distance from that stuff. From what the reporters were saying, Anzai acted on his own. I don't think so. He's not the type to do something like that. Pretty kind words about a guy who put you in a cast. We were in the same baseball club from elementary all the way through high school. His accuracy's always been perfect, so... No way this was an accident. But he cared about the team with all his heart. Was always a true sportsman on the field. He put the bond with his teammates above all else, even winning. I just can't believe this thing was all his idea. Even if that were true, he's still the one who made the play, right? You saying someone ordered him to do it? I'm thinking it was the Yokohama Shark Star's shifty manager. That's Anzai's team, if you didn't know. The manager? Why do you say that? Since the new manager stepped in, the Shark Stars have been locked in second place. That's not gonna change anytime soon. Hell, people were saying the new manager would have to retire before the ink on his contract dried. Unless they got a win, of course. And if they could pull off winning the last game, they probably would have won the season. So the guy got impatient and ordered Anzai to take you out. I'm guessing there's some reason Anzai couldn't say no, right? That's what I'm thinking. But Anzai swears he did it on his own. Speaking of which, I'm surprised you're willing to hear me out. Anzai's basically public enemy number one right now. Even if he is your friend, nobody'd be willing to defend someone they knew was lying. I like you, Kasuga-san. You know what's up. It makes me think I could trust you with a favor. A favor? I'd like you to meet with Anzai and find out what really happened. With the shape I'm in, I can't exactly hop across town. Meet with Anzai? But if you can't even get to him, how can I? There's a place on Hamakaze Street he hangs around in. Usually in disguise. Probably there now. The... Uh, in disguise? Are you sure you'd want you sharing that? I'm sharing because you did me a solid. Because you don't just believe whatever the mob believes. Fair thing. Uh, look, I'll make it worth your while if you help me out with this. <laughs> Why not? Like I'm gonna say no after all that? Yeah, fine. I'll go ask him for you. Ah, oh, thanks, Kasuga-san. Ah, oh, here, let me give you this. Photo of Anzai. His looks might have changed a bit, but this should help you find him. I'm counting on you, man. Off to Hamakaze Street. Suspicious man. <laughs> you cannot do Yakuza without, you know, baseball. Balling. You know what? Uh, while I'm doing this, let's just do a fight and see if they have up the uh, enemy's level. If not, I'm just gonna be kicking rear ends. Yeah, never mind. Sorry, guys. Just, uh, X all the way. So, I think before I even go follow up with it, I guess the main story, I really wanted to just go through all the uh, side quests and see if I can, you know, just kind of do them as much as possible. Like, for example, right here, this guy, remember, um, what's his name? The, uh, the homeless shelter with a, a soup kitchen. So let's do that first, see if we can get through that. Oh, wait, it's a pickup here. Rugged cloth. All right, that didn't do much. Anyway. Enemy on the other side, I'm not gonna deal with because I think, oh, right, yeah, it's like either here or there. This looks a bit sus, though. There we go, yes! See? They actually are about the same level, so here comes the AoE. And I miss, I'm sorry, guys. Oh my god, that's so sus. It is. This again, what is going on with me? Let's go. Take your best oh my god. 
not happy about this. Let's go. Let's see. I got this. No, you don't got this. You gotta heal yourself. I am secret too. It's go time. <gasps> <gasps> Well, I'm not gonna hit you then. I'm gonna actually beat him up. Continue the quest. Ah, <laughs> hmm. Uh, mm, the theater, probably. No way the hotel, the house, he doesn't have a house, so I'm gonna go with yeah. the theater. Oh, what happened to her? <laughs> oh god. No. <laughs> Wait, am I supposed to go to the movie theater right now? Like, right here? Right? I don't know, man. I I'm not sure about this. Um, let's go back to uh, heal out for free because uh, just look at Eri John. Just got beat up pretty good. Badly. And knowing me, even though I'm saving this. House of Cards. Alright, gonna do a few more. Let's see if I can actually get through a few more quests. Right here, there's a request. You know what? Let's just go there. And hopefully I don't end up getting beat up. Hopefully my party is strong enough. I mean I still need to like upgrade my equipment and all that other stuff. Anyway, um so I'm definitely looking forward to not tomorrow, maybe more more so Wednesday. Oh god. They look like new enemies. Oh, they're like the Kodish people. Look at that. Oh my god. Hollow followers. I'm sorry guys. If you play <laughs> If you play Majima. I'm sorry guys, yeah. Yeah, because it's zero. Look at this, look at that. Shady minister. Oh my god. Sorry guys, this brings back so much memory. Here we 
Let's go. Anyway, uh <laughs> the enemy is defeated. I would highly recommend you guys go back to play yeah, Yakuza Zero. All the funny references to or another group. Oh wait a second. That is actually look. Wait, that is the quest, right? Oh uh, no, the quest is here. Alright. Reward item, Mr. Mind Cooler, Quality Lumber. You know what? Let's time do to it. clean up. Oh my god, You're level 29? Oh, that was bad move by me. It's not as hard as I thought it was. Oh, right. Hopefully, I can. Yeah, with finesse. Let's gain my level. Junior here. Nice. I will take that. And then see if I can sell something here. Sell some of my items. Uh, they're wearing it. Can't really sell those. Well, no one's buying. All right, you know this is fine. No one's wearing this. I'll get one. You know, why am I doing this? I should just do it on my uh, when I'm not recording. Alright, so where am I going now? Oh, coming back to here. Alright, let's do all the side quests. I mean, if I do run into enemies, I'll fight them. Because I can definitely use some EXP. Oh my god. They're killing me. They're, 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 they're really killing me with this uh, post. Let's go. Here we go. Hmm. It's <laughs> the enemy is the Nice. Giga swing. Oh, that sounds so badass. I'm gonna use that. Hey, what is this? Oh, yeah. Right.
If I need to actually go eat something, um, you know, why not? So good. Th oh, that's all I have? I'm sorry. Oh, that was bad. Wow, really tasty. I guess nothing smaller, huh? You know what? It's fine. Hey. <laughs> oh, what am I? I promise to give you something to thanks. I hold some nice finds. What do you, you know what? Let me not get anything. No. Oh, really? Well, what about all other weird stuff that turns up? It's the Yakuza dumpling ground, so you might as well skip Lucky Pie on top now. <sighs> You're really the spook. Uh -huh. I think you might be overthinking it. Anyway, would you mind keeping quiet about this place? Can't afford to lose my. Yeah, of course not. Um, not yeah. 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 Am I supposed to pick something? I mean, my intellect went up, so, uh... Oh, sometimes later, I guess. You know what? I, I guess this is really just a sub-sub story. And then you have the enemies here. Do I want to fight them? Might as well. You know what? Why not? I wouldn't have oh, you You're gonna be in a world. Right. I'm ready now. That's how you do it. Why was there a scream? Jesus. Alright, so looking at this, we have another quest here by Isaki Ro. Um, you know what? I think what I'm gonna do is I will try to. You know what? Let me take a taxi. Um, I'm gonna go back to. Wait, I'm supposed to be here. That's where I was supposed to be. They tell me not to be there. So you know what? I'm going to be right here. I'm going to heal up and then come back to finish that story and then see where we go from there. Um, but then again, I'm, my cats are actually hungry now. I, I technically should be feeding them right now. So I'm not sure. I might just pause for a second and then I'll probably edit. I don't know. That's what happened. Uh, come back here, go down. Let me just go heal it up. Uh, but let's pick up. Wait, oh, it's just pop. Uh, wait, again, it's popping up with like from. You know what? You are go. Here we go. I'm ready now. I forgot to check their level. They're not even close enough to beat us. And Psycho. 
Step it up. Hmm? 100 yen. Not nearly what I'm looking for, but uh, let's no, let's seal it up and save. And I'm going to save right now, and I'm going to feed my cat. So you might be looking at like a 30 minute, uh, not 30 minutes, what I'm talking about, a two minute pause. I might just edit out this and see if I can actually use the editing scale. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. It depends on when I, if I can actually edit this thing. So sorry for the cut. All right, I'm going to go down to um, where Hamako told me not to go. Obviously, mm -hmm. you know, when they ever say, they're saying that don't go, you go. Whatever, let's just beat them up. I, got this. I know you got this. I'll show you. I'm not Check this out! You're gonna get stomped! You sure you can beat me? Right. Good luck next time. Oh, look at the protesters. Do you want your bar destroyed? Huh? You boys do what you gotta do. Listen, Granny. I don't gotta do anything. It don't benefit me at all to wreck your place. So why don't you just tell me what I want to know? Where's Kasuga? Folks said you would know. Hmm. If everyone told you to jump off a cliff, would you? <laughs> You should jump off a cliff, crusty old hag. Oops. <laughs> Sorry. I didn't mean to hit so hard. It's been a while since I punched a woman. So, do you feel like talking yet, Grandma? <laughs> Give it another swing. And this time, try to have better aim. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Kasuga, you decided to show up. Idiot. Why are you here? I'm the kind of guy who does whatever I'm told not to do. You okay, Hamako-san? <laughs> Don't think that I was trying to protect you guys or anything. It wasn't like that. Oh, sure. You just didn't approve of these guys' bad manners, right? <laughs> You're too classy a lady. <laughs> yep. They just weren't up to my standards. Will you let us handle it from here, though? <laughs> yeah. I think you've got it. Here! Stop right there! Out of the way, you shit. <sighs> Are you already back in the chairman's good graces, Totska? <laughs> I don't care what he thinks of me anymore. I'm done with the old man. You are? Yeah, because the stupid Eugene Show standoff was a fucking scam. Our bosses forced us to sit on our asses no matter what happened. Meanwhile, they raked in the cash. Who told you that? Bleach Japan. They've been spreading the word. We're not gonna be a goddamn joke anymore. Hell. The chairman's acting like Laumann never even shot up our boys. Our captain left to raid Zhao's men, and now he's a guest in Zhao's restaurant. It's all bullshit, and we're not taking it anymore! 
My boys here agree with me. We're all together on this. You can't stop us, Kasuga. Even our brothers at HQ are ready to tear down Hoshino. Let me get this straight. You become top dog, and the first thing you want to do with that power is come after me? Sure. Come after you, tear you limb from limb, dump the pieces in the bay. Huh. Well, let's say you actually manage to pull that off. Then what? Then I take control of the counterfeiting racket, along with this entire fucking town! I miss. I'm up. You sure you can beat me? Let's go. You're gonna be in a world of hurt. Let's go. Too bad. I'll take that money. I'll take the level up too. I did it. <laughs> you are no Yakuza leader. Go play king of the playground at some park. If Hamako-san ever tells me you showed your sorry ass face around here, I'll roll you into a bamboo mat and toss you in the river. That's a promise. <sighs> we clear? <sighs> We're clear. I want that ringtone, actually. Hello? It's Xiao. I'm really busy, so I'll make this quick. Okay. We underestimated Bleach Japan big time. Turns out the Omi Alliance is behind them. From the start, their plan was to take out the EG3. Lauma was just using you to get that done. I was thinking the same thing. Wait, you already knew? Ha! <laughs> And here I thought I was finally gonna get a thanks out of you. <laughs> Someday. Maybe I shouldn't bother telling you the other stuff I know. Uh, do it just in case, you know? As we speak, Bleach Japan protesters are marching to Komi Jewel. About a thousand of them. What? Yeah, and the crazy thing is, they aren't civilians. They're only soldiers. It's a Yakuza invasion disguised as a political protest. Fucking cowards. Seriously? They're gonna try and get at the counterfeiting machine. I just know it. The Great Wall's strength depends on that thing. So the Omi want to expose the Eijing 3's whole operation? They're just the muscle. The orders come from Bleach Japan. Bleach Japan knows all about the counterfeiting. And they figure if they destroy that, they'll destroy the Great Wall. Yeah, but that's where you come in. 
Assuming you still want to lend the Comey Jewel a hand. Why us? Why not your guys? I wish I could use my guys, but there's sort of a coup going on. What? Mahabuchi's been whipping all the boys into a frenzy. They ain't happy the counterfeiting was kept secret. And what? Now it's full on mutiny? Yeah. He's out there saying the EG3 bosses live the high life without sharing the wealth. A lot of my crew are buying it. My chances of getting a knife in the back are pretty high right now. And so are Chairman Hoshinos. So yeah, I'm not gonna send away what few loyal guys I got left. I get it. So could you help? Don't make me beg. You begging me might be interesting. Look, help us now and the Aging Three will forget all about the novel business. Really? Do I have your word on that? Ah, yeah, I'll talk to him myself. They'll come around. We got a deal? Uh, we do. But I still feel like I'm getting the raw end of it. As long as you're taking it. Ah, shit, I'm out of time for chit chat. But let me tell you one more thing. The guy giving these orders to reach Japan is the director, Ogatsuwara. He hung up. He asked us to go help the Komi Jewel. Us? Help them? In exchange for letting Namba off the hook, right? Yeah, your earring's good, Adachi. Did you also hear that Ogasawara's behind the whole thing? So I guess we'll be paying him a visit, too. Definitely. I've got a lot of questions for our pal Kume. Now look at him. Alright, anyways, so let's um, save right now. I'm going to just save it and try to edit up my weird uh, cat fitting part. And I will try to record it. I'm not. I don't think I'll be able to do. I'm, I maybe do one more tonight. But being my schedule, um, I may have to do the next one tomorrow. But either way, um, I'll be back as soon as I can. All right. Take.